The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. And I got Lou from Fairfield, Connecticut, man. How you doing, Lou? I'm doing good, Daryl. And I got to tell you, you're not just blowing hot air out there. I think the way you look at the market is terrific. You're a nice guy as far as over the TV. All the research you do, all the homework you do, I truly appreciate it. I appreciate the, your view of the market. It's awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Daryl Martin. All right, folks, come on back here to the Diagnostic Trading Hour. We've got Obama's going to be coming out here in just a few minutes and making a statement on Iraq. So uh, might get some volatility in the markets. So let's see uh, what's going on with the prices um, on the spreads right now. Let me hop on over here to crude oil. We'll check that out and uh, see if there's some employed volatility built in or if they look really cheap. Who knows? Um, let's go in. Let's narrow these down. Let's make it easy on ourselves. Okay. Uh, definitely want a Rick Ward ratio of one to one or better. Don't want to risk more than a hundred bucks. And obviously they're all going to expire here pretty soon anyway, so we don't have to worry about expiration. Don't really need the minimum time on there. And there we go. Okay, so that uh, narrows it down. It shows us every straddle that's available. Are there any that are really cheap? Are they all really expensive? What are we looking at? Uh, we got one right there that's 15 bucks till 230. This one's 15 bucks till 230. How lined up are those? We got a 106 to 106. Well, that's pretty nice. Um, is there one below? Yeah, there we go. So that's that's really not that bad. That's uh, like $150 on each side. If we got at least a 30 cent move, we can make some uh, good money on this trade. So that would be one to look at. Let me see if there's anything else where we just dive head first. But uh, looking at everything, with the market sitting right at 106 right now, with him about to make a comment on it, I mean, that's a, that's a viable trade, right? And do you think the market could move 30 cents based on whatever it is that he says, probably, <laughs> um, if it's news. You know, if it's, if it's already been accounted for, nobody's surprised. You know, the thing is, even if it's not news, if he comes out and says something and the market expected, um, you know, something different, okay, uh, they, they priced in this news conference on here. So... You know, you want to sort of keep that into account as well. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. We already got, a, you know, a couple contracts on. We'll watch them and um, see how they all come out in the mix. And uh, I'm just trying to look at all of them right now and see where we're at. Wow, one of them's like way up there. I'm not taking that. Okay. Uh, so what do we have on this trade on risk? Uh, wow, that just sort of popped up on us, didn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, basically what happened was the volume just got taken out. A lot of people took the trades on. I put on, you know, a handful myself. There we go. They're back. And got all the trades filled. Okay, so you can go in. And, I mean, it's not a real big trade. It's not a – it's 30 – what is that, 150 bucks? That's $300. That's a 30-cent move if we went directional on oil right now. I mean, how easy would it be to go direction on oil before Obama makes an announcement? So we'll just be curious to see sort of how this one pans out. And um, it's a low-risk trade. I'm not, uh, I don't just randomly do straddles. I want to do them on events where I think that the market's actually going to go somewhere. And uh, move. it has a reason for moving sort of unexpectedly. But it's not, it's not unexpected because the news coming out, but it's unexpected. It's not just a, it's not a normal news event. Okay? And... Let's see where that puts us on the trades. We got that one on. And I thought we had an order in. There we go. Okay. So we got those in. We see, you know, order flow coming in and out and out on the trades. And we'll see what happens when he starts talking. 
Um, he's supposed to get on the air here in just a few minutes. We'll see if he's on yet. Nope, supposed to come on in 11 minutes. So we'll see if he's on time. He was supposed to come on at 12.30, and then it was at 1, and then it was at 1.15. So all the more reason to make sure we choose those 2.30 expiration uh, spreads uh, for that reason alone. Okay, just to let him be a little bit late in his delivery. And then looking on over at the financial juice, I can see if there's any like headlines that pop up um, on it. And even you know, can type in oil or CL and just you know, sort of see what may come in. Um, as well in that process. So super facing, you know, oil and Middle East, and so you can see, like, just find some quick uh, articles directly related to anything that you're looking for at the moment that may be coming out. Okay, so I got an oil search on. I got um, Obama up. I got a oil straddle on. Nothing happens. You know, we can always hop out of the trade pretty easily. Um, in either way, but uh, and then of course you need to have your oil chart up and ready. And so let me go ahead and put that on the screen for us. A little bit different day, but just figured, hey, you know, it's uh, I was going to miss out on it doing something else earlier, but then we uh, rolled into the show, and I'm like, well, that makes for a good excuse. And so here we go. Here's oil. It, it is hopping and rocking there. I mean, right there, just the uh, Half deviation move is about a 50, 60 cent move. That'd be more than enough for us to be profitable on the trade. But we have about a 30 cent risk in it. And so let's add on our expected uh, ranges. Give us just an idea on what's happening here as far as what's normal for this time of day on a Thursday on oil compared to what's happening whenever he uh, comes out and starts talking. So, so far, we've been in a pretty normal day. We had a little bit of a heavy uh, morning right before the pit opened. Oil dropped on down, broke out of its expectation. Stayed within the expectations pretty much most of the day. We, we popped up a little bit a couple times, but overall, um, it stayed right in line with the expectations. This hour is usually a pretty low volatility hour, um, hence uh, the possibility of getting those spreads on really cheap. If we go on over, we look at what the expected move is um, during this hour. We're going to find that the normal move is a mere 29 cents. Hmm. Think about that. The normal move is 29 cents, and what did it cost us to put on the contracts? Well, let's see. 105.87 is 13 cents, because uh, 106 uh, is the ceiling. So if I sold at 105.87, that's a 13 tick risk. And 111, okay. Uh, 106 to 111 was the upper spread that we bought. And let me show you these spreads over here. Let me plot them on here. That's probably the best way to do it. So go in. Let me get rid of my 15-minute volume. I like to watch my 10-minute. All right. And let me move my deviation on down here. Grab that. Move that down. Okay. Now... We put on a couple spreads, so let me draw these on here real quick. We'll go in, grab a couple um, rectangles there. We basically are going for the 230 expiration. We got the 106, and this thing goes way, way up to 111. And then we go over here. We can grab this one. So plenty of time here to get this thing all set up and talk about it. All right, so I'm going to click on here, and then let's change the color on it to, you know, say red. And then let's make sure the data, we want it to go to 230, that's good. We want it to go from 106, and it goes down to, there's a pretty big box we got on, down to 101. Click apply, that's the spread that we sold. And then we'll go up here. And we're going to grab the spread that we bought. We're going to put in the color of green. And 
let's make sure it goes from the right spot to the right spot. We got ending at 230. The floor is 106. The ceiling is 111. Okay, so pretty big. I mean, if we pull that thing way down, I'm trying to get it in perspective for you. There's a lot of profit potential there. <laughs> okay. Um, how much profit potential would that be? Well, if we bought it for 101.87 was my average fill price. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm on my sell side. 101.85.87. And so on one contract, $13.487 profit potential. Okay. I did a lot more than one. I did 40. So in 40 contracts, $520 risk, $19,000 profit potential. I don't expect this thing to drop down to 101. Who knows? But I don't I don't really. That'd be like a three deviation move in the next hour and a half. That'd be awesome. But uh, don't really expect that. Now on the other side, what do we got? So on the buy side, we went in and we bought the contract at an average price of 106 average price current market not current market average price 10614 okay so 10614 that um, would have been a risk of $14 for a profit potential of 486 on one contract $14 to make a potential 486 again that'd be this thing running all the way up to 106 don't really see that either uh, I'm sorry, all the way up to 111. Don't really see that happening. If it did, though, that'd be sweet, but don't plan on it. Got 40 um, on, so it's 560 for a potential $19,000. That's a pretty good risk-reward. So I just sort of laugh whenever people go, yeah, but Nadex limits your, your profit. It's like, okay, well, you tell me how many times you're grabbing five points a day on oil, and then we'll talk about it. All right, so now that we have that, let's uh, make sure you do get what's happening here. This is a straddle. Okay, so this is a spread straddle on Nadex. And when we do a straddle, we usually want the, the floor of the lower spread and the ceiling of the upper spread to have the same price, same strike, I guess, so that should be the proper term. And so here's what it looks like on a risk-reward graph, okay? So floor of the bot spread, ceiling of the bot spread, okay? Ceiling of the sold spread, floor of the sold spread. So it can make money all the way up to the ceiling on the buy side. can make money all the way down to the floor on the sell side. So our risk is what's in the middle of the trade. And on the trade, we have about a you know $30 risk or so uh, per straddle because we risked pretty much 15 on each side. So now the real question is what will happen next? And uh, will we get a nice big move when Obama starts talking? All right. Um, We'll see how that goes. We'll be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFN. N dot com. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Daryl takes your phone calls now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Diagnostic trading hour. So we're still waiting on our leader to uh, show up to his press conference. Um... Let's see, we got a, uh, let, let me refresh the page. Maybe, maybe it's my browser stuck. No, nope, he's still not here. Okay, so 1.15 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, just to make sure I you know I'm right, I'm just going to ask Google what time is it. Oh, it's 12.24 Central. Yeah, that's 1.24 Eastern. Yeah, that's Eastern. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, Google says he's late. I guess he's late. Um, hop on over to uh, MSNBC. Live video coverage is... Uh, well, coming up. Yep, still coming up. We got uh, Bloomberg. Well, uh, somebody's talking. Um, you know, so we can do some market commentary, leave him on mute here, and just, I don't know why. I don't know why he's late, but it's important. He has things to do. And, um, but it's supposed to start at 115, and I know it's 115, but maybe we meant to put 115 Central Time. And let me see, um, what, what should I say now? Carney's not here. What should I say? Yeah. So, anyways, I mean, this is like every time with Obama, man. Like, I like never shows up to a press conference on time, but he's the president, you know. We wait for him. Um, government, uh, you know, for the government, right? But, anyways, I hope he just rocks some oil for us. That'd be a nice thing, and we'll see uh, where that goes. <laughs> I just don't know what to say, man. The guy has a scheduled press conference and hasn't shown up. Um, what else can we do while we're waiting? 
uh, with the market because, well, see, the markets are sort of waiting on him also. So we got to be careful that we don't uh, just out of one to get things going. I guess we can catch up on where the markets are at right now. I didn't do that at the beginning because we were trying to hop in the straddle before he talked. But it was nice of him for the first delay because that allowed us to, you know, put the trade on on the show. But now we'll just wait on him to get going. Let's see where the market's right now. Right now, we got the S and P is down three and a half points. We have the Russell is down six. Nasdaq is down eighteen and a half. With the Dow down thirty-two. Copper right now is up half a percent. Gold is up three percent on the day. Massive forty-point move on gold. Big move on gold. Silver is up four and a half percent. Even a bigger move. On silver, we got natural gas down 1%. Oil's been moving great today. Moved down a deviation, up a deviation, on back down. Oil right now currently just up a uh, mere 37 cents, but that's after some nice, strong moves. We got corn right now is up one and a half, a little over 1.7% right now, seven points on the day. We got soybeans up 10 points on the day, about 1%. Euro dollar is currently up. 20 pips. Aussie dollar is down 20. Pound dollar is up 50 pips on the day. Some nice pound news. We got dollar franc is currently down 21 pips. We have the dollar CAD is down 19. Dollar yen is unchanged. Flat on the day from yesterday's settlement. Aussie yen is down 12. Euro yen is up 20. Pound yen is up 47. Euro pound currently down 8 pips. And that is your market wrap summary on where the markets are sitting at. And uh, let's do a little refresh, making sure. Nope, not yet. Okay. All right, still not here. Let's see what we got on the uh, calendar coming on up. That means to show up. I got a trade on. I need it to move. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, so what do we got coming up on the calendar for tomorrow? Um, we already uh, I gave you all the library rate information yesterday. We went through all of that. We can go back and do a little review here if we need to. Uh, I'm just hoping to watch this trade actually move. And so let's check out tomorrow. There's nothing happening tonight. Pretty quiet. I mean, like, literally. I mean, nothing like they're on the roster. So, I mean, everything's done. 1030. I mean, hit the more button to make sure. Yep, nothing there. So very, very quiet evening on the international front. Uh, things will pick back up a little bit in the morning with the German PPI. Bank of Japan, Governor Karada is going to have a little speech. Where's that speech going to be at? Is it some like yacht club or um, some association of banks? Okay. Um, and then what do we got after that? We got core CPI, core retail sales, CPI and retail sales all happening on the USD CAD. And um, so with that, that says, you know, that's worth looking at. Let's see what we got. Uh, also see if there's anything on the German PPI that we might be able to take advantage of for a news trade tomorrow. And um, man, these, this guy looks really just sad. They're like, where is he? I don't know. Where is he? So, sorry. But he's getting beat up. We get back. We will talk about the news trade for tomorrow. Stay right there. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. 
Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So I got a tick based chart up. I got a time based chart up. We're just sort of seeing where it goes and what happens. He he has shown up as sort of humorous there in the um, last minute or so. Uh, like it happened right after my segment ended and the went into the commercial break. And also the, the smile just comes onto the guy's face. It looks like he's being berated by all the other members of the press. And all of a sudden he just starts smiling, you know. And you're like, oh, I bet he's about to come on. <laughs> and like, literally. And then all of a sudden, you know, everybody walks out and they do the whole thing. And uh, he's like, see, I told you my boss would show up. So, um, but anyways, yeah, he uh, was very happy, I guess, once that uh, finally happened for him. And so we're waiting to see. I hope we get a movement. Come on, man. Rock the markets. We'll see. Um, anyway, so we got about an hour or so on this trade. To let it move, we'll see what happens. Big thing to be aware of on the trade is what is the expected move. The expected move is about 30 ticks, okay? If we get just our expected move, then that means that we're at a break-even on the trade. That's not a bad scenario, okay? What I'm hoping for is that he'll say something that will cause us to get more than the expected 30 tick move. And where do I get the expected move on the hour? Um, basically, I go and I calculate the expected move of every hour's expiration. We had an expected move of 29, and since we are able to get the trade on for a little less than that, um, this trade we actually got in, uh, we got in for, if I pull up the chart over here, where we logged, 
each one of the trades for 106 right there. We bought the 106 contract at 106.14. So we had a 14 tick risk there. And then we sold the 101 to 106 contract for 105.87. We had a 13 tick risk there. Therefore, we had a 27 tick risk on the trade. That also means that the market is priced in a 27 cent move. Okay, that's the way to, another way to find expected moves. And so I go and I look at this, it says 29. So the market's a couple ticks undervalued from when I got in. Should have been about 29. It priced in 27. That's good. And uh, so that means I got them at a good fair price. Uh, if it would have been like 40 or something, that would have been a really high price. And since I'm getting in at the expected price, at the expected fair value of the contract, then, um, and I'm getting in before a expected move, which not, or a news announcement, a fundamental shock potential announcement, which could cause us to have greater than the expected move, potentially, then I have a chance of actually not only getting a fair price and a break-even trade, but getting a profitable trade on. Now, I will take a maximum loss on this trade should the market end up closing at right at 106, which is a pretty strong level. So right at 106. If it expires at 106.30 or 105.70, I'll basically break even after fees. I'll be a little bit ahead on the trade. Okay. Uh, if it only expires 15 ticks down or so, then I'll basically recover the risk on one side and I'll lose, you know, most of the risk on the other side. So I'd be down like, you know, 50% on my total risk on the trade. So, but to have maximum loss, it's not like a binary that's all or nothing. This is one of the reasons I really prefer straddles. So if it goes down and I'm thinking, hey, we're going to get a big 60 tick move or, you know, whatever, and let's say we only get a 30 tick move, or let's say we get a 29 tick move or 28 tick move, and let's say I did risk 30 bucks. On this trade, I risked 13 on one side, I risked 27. So what happens if it, um, it only moves 25 pips? Well, I'd lose two dollars per you know straddle I did you know um, not all my money like on a butterfly or a strat on a strangle if I did an out of the money bought contract and out of the money sold contract then that's where I'd really feel it okay like you could definitely you know you definitely see a lot of loss in there um, because if they both expire the money you get total loss the only way I get total loss here again is if it expires right at 106 um and time isn't really working nearly as much against me on this. I mean, yeah, I put all premium in there, but if it's down like 10 ticks right now, that means out of the 27 I risked, if it expired right now, I'd lose 17 of my, my 27. Okay? So I got to look at what is my middle strike, 106. Every tick above or below 106 is a tick I don't lose out of my 27 ticks. Every tick above or below 27 ticks above or below 106. So 106, 27 down to 105.87, 87, is that right, 90, 80, 77, 77 would be, every tick above those is a dollar that I'll make per straddle that I put on. So when you start to really grasp that risk reward model, you start to see what, when straddles are good and bad and why often they don't work, but everybody thinks they will, <laughs> because they price in the expected move. So you need a much larger than expected move. If you do get that expected move, on most average news announcements, like it'll pop and then it'll pull back. And so if you're going for that out of the box expected move, then you gotta take profit on most straddles uh, because when it moves, you gotta take the profit, you gotta move on, Otherwise, you're going to give all of that money away, okay? You don't want to give it all away by letting it move in your favor, be profitable, and come on back. And that's why often I'll do the iron condors where I collect the premium because I expect it to stay inside that range. If I went and I did premium collection every morning on these, and let's say I could get pretty much the expected range, which is about what everything was priced at, then look what would have happened, okay? A 9 to 10 expires pretty much at the exact same price, almost maximum profit on that trade. Okay, so what would have been the uh, actual profit right there? It would have been about $35 per. Okay. Um, and then if I go over here, what about this one? Well, it would have been basically literally break even, like right at the price. What about here? If I would have done an iron condor on this hour, what would I have got? Well, 
Um, it moved 20 on an expectation of 40 or so. So I basically would have made 20 on my $40 premium. And so you can see, if you start looking at these, I mean, these expected ranges can give you iron condors pretty consistently. And some of them you'll make a lot, some of them you won't. And that one expired right there. You would have made nine dollars, okay? But again, you do twenty, do fifty, do a hundred. Starts adding up, right? The beautiful thing is you don't get demolished if it doesn't. So let's say there wasn't a nine o'clock expiration, but let's just say there was a nine o'clock expiration on an iron condor premium collection trade, and it went way outside your range, okay? If you're doing butterfly, like you're gonna get hammered, and you just left the stupid thing alone, okay? It moved forty-nine pips. What was the expected movement? It's 36. Okay, so you would have lost. Now, you couldn't even have done this trade because there's not a 9 o'clock expiration. But let's say you could have. There would have been 13 ticks, okay, right there, of loss. And then on the next one, you would have made about 35. On the next one, you would have made, let's see, 10. On the next one, you would have made 20. So on this one, who knows? I mean, maybe I should have done an iron condor. We'll see. But, um... The only reason I even chose to not do to do it, the only reason I chose to do a straddle, which I normally don't, is because the news announcement coming out, seeing hey, if you know, we've been doing a lot of fun trades off oil. Let's see if we can grab this one or not, and uh, it could potentially just escalate if he, you know, depending upon exactly what he's saying. And it's not just what he, it's, it's how everybody interprets what he says. That's sort of how it always is, right? It's not exactly what the FOM says; it's it's how everybody interprets it. Um, and that's why I'll come over and I'll like check out. See if anything's popping up over here. Um, the juice. Um, okay, so what is he saying? Headlines. U.S. could make targeted strikes on Iraq. Secretary of State Kerry is going to the Middle East. It's not our job to pick the Iraqi leaders. Gold's flying up. Obama is sending more military advisors to Iraq. The Iraqi government must be an inclusive government. The U.S. is not going to take sides between the Shiite and the Sunni. And Iraq must not descend into civil war. Okay. So, so far that's what he said. Um, is we're going to send some advisors and we think they should all get along. Now, I guess that isn't going to rock the markets quite yet. He just said, hey, you know, we could. We could make targeted strikes. Potentially. In Iraq. I mean, that's sort of the biggest um, announcement so far out of all of his announcements over here. Let's see what else I can pull up. Let's scroll through a few things, a few hundred things. And let's see, we got a caller in. We got Tom from Orlando on TLT. You there, Tom? Oh, all right. Well, uh, give us a call back. And um, right now, sort of checking out oil, but uh, give us a call back. And let's see here. What else we got? Uh, Obama prepared to target strikes, but the an act if needed. Okay, so we getting a little bit more detailed. Um, and let's see. Is he done talking? Is he still going? No, oh, he's still going. Okay. So now all the bigger uh, ones are starting to come out with stuff. Uh, you got MSNBC and everything. It's just the, the quick flowing information. But I love the headlines right there come out really quick. And let us see what's happening. And uh, But right now it's just sticking right there at that 106. So um, who knows, man. Maybe I'll have to flip around the position try to recover it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it. We're not, we're not in bad territory yet. We're getting some volume. There's a lot of volume happening. Let me show you this right here. And so this is when he came out. And so we actually are exceeding volume. So volume is picking up in the uh, market right there. Let's go ahead and let's look a little bit deeper. Okay. And let me open up one. There we go. See if I can get that one opened up. All right, Tom, how you doing? You there? Okay. Hey, man, awesome. Hope things are going well for you. It is. Hey, just got a quick question for you. Uh, it's been a, a, some huge volume and a huge moves on the uh, TLT today, just, uh, uh, starting at about mm, 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, any news or anything you've heard of that would uh, push the 20-year uh, the uh, Treasury down so fast? 
Oh, let me see here. I, I got a bunch of news reports. Let me see if I can pull one up specifically for you, okay? All right. Help out on that. He had an option buy air out there this morning. Uh, oh, did you get some heavy ops? There's some yeah, heavy ops in action going on? Yeah, 948, he, uh, somebody went out and bought uh, a huge block of uh, put options on the TLT. They bought the, uh, the, the 112 puts at 10 cents. And uh, they traded as high as a dollar sixteen so far today. And now, did, uh, but now did, that, did yeah. the open interest go up? Do we know it was a buyer? Or do we know it was somebody closing a position? Uh, that was somebody buying. Right. Well, somebody yep. was selling. Somebody was buying. Were they closing or were they initiating? Like, was it an increase in open interest or was it just a volume? It trade? was incre increase in open interest. Okay. Cool. So, you know, you know, I. I I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, is to let other traders know out there, just because you, you want to see volume and increased open interest, because that's how you know it's right. actually a new position. Right. Like new contracts being made. Okay, let's right. see here. What do we got, man? There's got to be something, right? Um, yeah, it's got to be some type of news out there, because that guy just made a tenfold his investment so far today. Let's follow him. Um, let's see. I'm trying to look at this. Uh, this Trying to look for anything on TLT, and I think it's just a post. Honestly, I mean, the only thing I can see is just post Fed information. Okay. It's just everybody cheering the Fed. I mean, over and over and over again for everything they said. I mean, I'm just looking right here. I think this one has a really cool uh, news feature. You can go in, type in any instrument, and it'll basically list every single story that has that instrument in it. Okay. And. Uh, so and it goes it basically talks about you know yelling rally what's happening the Fed's reaction to it now, this is all yesterday um, today this is going to talk about you know telling going on up um, and cat quadruple witching coming up so Santelli Management uh, USA that's probably it right there so there'd be some yeah. stuff on that you want to check out um, yeah, Santelli I mean, points I mean, out low interest rates are way too low confidence and management tells American yeah that's not really going to be anything but uh, I, th I think it's just post uh, Fed. Um, Reaction. I mean, that's that's yep. the only thing I can clearly see that would make. I mean, it's basically somebody saw that they went. In, when, when did they put the position on? You said it was yesterday, right? Uh, no, they put it on today at exactly uh, nine forty-eight a.m. Today at nine forty-eight. Let's see here. You gotta love looking at those like heat reports and all that, don't you? Let's see on the option buying. That's pretty cool. Uh, um, no, what what I have too is I can I can go out. I have a system where I can go out and see who's putting on uh, large trades in the options market, and usually what that does is uh, gives you an idea of what's going to happen with the uh, underlying security. And the yeah. technicals, too, yeah. the technicals too. When you look at it, uh, if you look at a daily chart on the TLT, you see from this big move down, we fought, we fell below the 10-day moving average and the uh, the 50-day moving average on a uh, daily chart. So, yeah. I mean, it's, and we're actually sitting right now at a major support level, too. So he's probably taking right. some profits. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that's all I see, man. I wish I could tell you more, but, um, I mean, the technical analysis lines up with the trade, so. Okay. I will just watch it and see what happens. All right, man. Have a great day. All right. Thanks a lot. You bet. Bye. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor, Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer, it gets better, a 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed, Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Join David Dwight as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. All right, well, the market's battling it out right now. We'll see where it goes. It's pushing on up. It's at a pretty strong point right now. We really are at that expected high to low, close to close ranges here. And um, if I drop off my boxes for you that I put on just to make the chart a little cleaner, a little clearer, we've got a lot of drawings happening. Gives you a little clearer perspective. So this is sort of that make or break it point on this hour. That We are at the expected move. We had the expected move high to low already. We're now at the expected channel level. If we break out of here... And we can break this current bar with exceeding volume. Where so far, we've been exceeding, exceeding, exceeding the entire time. Then we can have a really nice trade on our hands. Uh, just to show you, get you caught up on the current position, where we're at right now. We got on 40 contracts long, 40 contracts short. Um, and going in, and I uh, bought at 106.14, sold at 105.87, taking on a $27 risk per straddle, doing 40 straddles. And uh, so we're up about 400, 440 on one side. Obviously, we're down max on the other side. And uh, we're, at, we're just going to have to watch it. But uh, so pretty close. And uh, it'll just it'll keep oscillating right at this point. And the next 30 minutes is going to be key. Uh, what he says, what final words he has, and going into the closing pit on oil. Um, is oil going to drive up going into the close here? Because we've got 30 minutes left for the oil pit before it shuts down. Or is it going to... Um, you know, crash on down. So uh, I guess we've got 35 minutes left, right? So at 35 minutes left until oil shuts down here at 2.30.
and our contracts are good until that point. Um, and it uh, doesn't take much. I mean, just a few ticks, and the thing can fly in our favor. And, uh, but we have moved the expectations. So now that this is where, like I said, the whole trade gets tricky is can it push through that? Are we going to keep that exceeding volume? Are we going to turn around? Or are we just going to do a reversal trade off of this? And uh, so I'm watching it for both. And let me see if I can put on. I know we didn't get to all the little new trades for tomorrow. I'll have to just log those up there later. And uh, i got to change it up now and then, right? So let's see, what do we got on crude oil binaries? I just want to see for the 230s. Let's see, if it went back down to our strike at 106, we could put on a contract for 20 bucks. So I'm just laying off some potential examples on hedges for you. Um, if it actually went down to that level and expired below there, then you could capture $80 a contract. So, you know, if I have, if I did 10 of them, um, and it fell back down by 230, then that would more than cover all my risk on the trade. Uh, so that's one way to hedge off the trade. Using binaries after the market's already moved in your favor to do the trade. And um, let's see here. Okay, so that's one possibility. I just, I just want to sort of show you different ways you can do it. And they're really, I mean, you know, not bad trades there. Any of them. So I sort of I like the whole the whole setup, the whole lineup on that. And just trying to see, yeah, sort of pulling back at the moment, but we got 30 minutes and this thing is going to move around like crazy. So I expect a lot of volatility. We just have to let it play itself out. Let's see what we have. Just a reminder before it wraps up. Uh, just remember that uh, you want to be aware because we didn't get into the details, but I want to make sure they're on your schedule. Uh, we got German PPI at 2 a.m. We got uh, core CPI, core rich results at CPI. A lot of activity expected on the CAD. All right, y'all have a great day, and I'll catch you tomorrow on the Diagnostic Trader Hour and in the morning with Tommy O'Brien on the Bull Bear Binary Hour. Thank you. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. You're watching Tiger TV.